Sean, please read this calmly. For the love of God, stop reading out the texts that clearly aggravate you and get you so grumpy. It's not fun to listen to. I want to hear good convo and intelligent debate, not this constant attack on people you clearly have no time or respect for. I'm a fan. I have a T-shirt. I'm trying to remain loyal to you and the platform. But this constant yelling at 8am in the morning and belittling of texters is nauseating. Have a cup of tea, chamomile tea, deep breaths and ignore the texts that you can't stomach. Where focus goes, energy flows, dude. Namaste from Vanessa. Thank you, Vanessa. I'm feeling much calmer, much more zen now. Nice text. Nice text, Vanessa. Nice counterbalance. Nice counterbalance. Oh, I'm chill. I'm so chill. Should I just turn off the microphone and walk away? No. I'm back into it. Uh, three waters has become five waters. Uh, Winston says it's six waters. Was to be passed under urgency this week, but in a surprise move uh, Monday, the government announced it was going back for a redraft because it had been misunderstood and needed some work. Well, what the hell is going on here? Because last time it went to a select committee, the tens of thousands of um, submissions were completely ignored and they toughened it up. They gave, they went from co-governance to what I would almost call Māori sovereignty over some aspects of water in New Zealand, and they increased the gamut of the waters that were covered quite significantly. Well, one person has been keeping a weather eye on all this and has been proved an invaluable source of information for the platform is a um, uh, local body, former local body uh, politician, Journalist, public relations expert, uh, Māori advisor, Tina Nixon, also a part-time Talk Bay radio host. She joins us now. Tina, how are you? I'm really glad about that text before, because I actually thought you had your man period this morning too, to be frank. Oh, okay, uh, okay. <laughs> no, I'm fine. So, Auntie Tina says, calm the farm, yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> maybe I'm only doing it for dramatic effect. Well, yeah, and you did have a lot of really grumpy texts this morning too. Yeah, so, so I yeah, just want to reflect. I want is. to reflect the rubbish from idiots that's coming my way, Tina. Yeah, yeah. Just don't read them out. It's not. Oh worth. no, no. It's there's some, and there's the some fun. really good texts. There yeah. is some very, very good texts. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm like you. Yeah, I prefer to listen to talk to people. Hey, um, yeah. Look, just in terms of updates. So um, it's been an absolute shambolic week for the government mm. uh, in terms of three waters. Um, so the final reading under urgency, I understand, is now going to be December, mm. um, and that is um, because they've had to redraft specific parts of um, the legislation because actually, Sean, between you and Thomas Cramner, I think um, they you, you were the two po points of um, uh, interest that basically led some of the media to start looking at these issues and realise that this was a bit of a cluster. Yeah. And, well, it was uh, then, that rewrite from Select Committee, as you pointed out and as we highlighted, was a kind of massive exp expansion of what was already a very controversial legislative proposal. Oh, huge, huge. But the other thing that happened this week too, it was very clear that the Prime Minister wasn't all over it. She did a very sort of weird interview with uh, Mike Hosking um, and, and it was and, and she, I think she referred to the uh, legislative, uh, sh legislative legislation being shabbily um, drafted. Well, it's pretty bad to blame your team. Actually, it's her legislation and this is a critical piece of their their thinking and if she's going to turn around and bl blame her troops, then, you know, that's just really bad politics. And then on top of that, you have the Auditor General come out and go, whoa, has, have we got a public service in jeopardy here? And he's calling for a major report um, to uh, look at how we can improve the public service. And he particularly highlights um, the issues around the three waters as an example of how government has got really, really bad around transparency and more importantly, accountability. But I mean, how, how would you feel of being a public servant at the moment if you know that tomorrow the Prime Minister can get on our pedestal and start 
dissing you because you haven't done a good job. When right from the outset, the team that was doing the three waters said this is going to be too rushed. We can't do anything about it because the politicians say this is the time frame. We don't agree with it and we think it's going to be almost impossible to meet. Now, there is evidence of that in some of the early conversations we had as councillors with the three waters team. Um, it, it'll be in the file somewhere, so I'm not just speaking out my butt here. Um, but you know, so the, so there's, that's the first thing. So the Auditor General came out, he, and then there was the the Hoskins interview, and then and then Megan Woods turns around and she says, "Oh, this is all because Federated Farmers wanted um, Tamana Alty sort of um, redone." And so Andrew Hoggart came had to come out yesterday with a statement saying, "Whoa up." You know, hold your horses. Wasn't us. Yes, we did want some clarification on it, but that didn't mean to say that it was us that did all this. It, we, we, and we didn't want to model uh, OTY strengthen. We wanted it basically, basically they wanted it ripped out. Really. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, and but my, so so then Megan Woods bl- bloody blames Federated Farmers when they had absolutely nothing to do with it. So, you know, it, it, these are the sort of things that are, that are happening around this. And, and it, is, it is such a fast-moving beast, it's actually very, very hard yeah, to, to keep, keep up. up exactly so we've happening. got a redraft, but, but it, to my mind, here's just my logical, not politician person. You go to a select committee, you come back and you ignore everything in a select committee. 88,000 submissions. 88,000 submissions. Most ever. Okay, most ever to any select committee, I imagine. Yeah, okay. And then the Prime Minister goes, whoa, hang on, hold your horses, we'll redraft it. But still they're going to try, which I would imagine the redrafting should actually, in a good system, and there's no urgency in this, the water's not going anywhere, no one's dying every day because of water. Surely if it's been redrafted, they should resubmit it to the select committee. Yeah. Exactly, and that's what people are saying. Uh, and uh, this is such a significant change in what went out for public consultation um, that actually it needs to go back out to public consultation, or at least to the um, to the select committee. Um, so you know, it's a fundamental change in the in how in the driver of the bill. Um, but you know, it actually it still gets worse. I mean, it, the other thing that happened this week was also this big infrastructure conference. Um, I've been to a couple of them; they're absolutely fascinating. And if you really want to know who runs New Zealand, um, just go to an infrastructure conference because they do. Yeah. Um, and they uh, com- they concentrated, of course, on three waters because they were they were the original instigators of this three waters. They wanted as much aggregation as possible, and they actually just wanted one entity. And actually, when it comes down to the financing side of things, there is really good merit in saying you really one entity is actually better because the big sovereign markets overseas just think we're a pimple on the bum of nothing. And so they, 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 we, we're not big enough of scale yeah. um, to invest in. And so if you have a one water entity um, that, that, that needed a whole heap of money, um, then they'd have a look at it. Um, yeah. But if it's four entities, it's different. So there may need to be some back-end aggregation of the financing deal to make it actually palatable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, we're we're getting into the so weeds now, the- but, but fundamentally, everything has changed. Why the rush to get it passed by bloody Christmas? What is the point I of that, I think it's Tina? just, Eddie, 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 because if they don't get it passed by Christmas, they're not going to have the fundamental work and, and it'll be very, very hard for the National Party to unwind too much okay. of it. And so that's the issue. They try, and it's just bloody mindedness. You know, they just need to stand up and, and say, nah, okay, fair enough. Um, we're going to hold, we're going to hold fire here. We'll just hold everything and, um, you know, slow it down a wee bit so that at least we get the good bits right. Mm. Um, but at the moment that's just not going to happen. And, uh, you know, at, 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 and I was at the other thing at the infrastructure conference too is, is, uh, here the here shotter has talked about the fact that um, uh, uh, that these entities um, are basically um, uh, sorry, I'll just, uh, look don't, don't, yeah here we go um, she she she, uh, she she reckons that they will bring economies of scale and um, but she talks about a thing called the catchment wide approach and. That's really dumb because these entities are not based on catchments. Catchments, which is crazy because they're water entities. Yeah, and and so they they, they were based on 
they originally were sort of based on tribal ba boundaries and then that didn't work and then they narrowed it down to the four entities so there really isn't any logic logic to how they've actually put yeah. them together either yeah so you know her, her saying that this is all about catch a catchment approach is bollocks yeah um, do you do you think and, and, Tina, and no one calls yeah, them. yeah do you think Tina that the prime minister would rather take this issue off the agenda but she has a battle with her maori caucus over it I would suspect so, and I think they think it's too far down the track now to back out. Uh, and and I would suspect there must have been some hard talking when she realised that someone had snuck in um, the strengthening of Te or Te Wai um, in there as well without really giving her a heads up because it's such a significant thing and, and it obviously went on under cover of darkness and all of a sudden she's getting smacked around publicly for, for it and, and didn't even know. And Megan Woods basically said she reckoned there was no way that they would include the three water, uh, the, the geothermal, because she was Minister of Energy. So she had no understanding of what yeah. they done. Uh, well, look, I, I just think in it. practical terms, this whole thing now, Tina, is such a dog's bloody breakfast. In yeah. the interest of the future of this country, in the interest of getting it right, we just got to say, forget the urgency thing. There is no urgency in, in such a fundamental piece of legislation. I think we've got to go I back through this. I think they've gone too election. far down the track. That's the problem, and you know, and and it's and it's it, it is also reflected in some respects with Peter Charters this morning too. When yeah. you get organisations that feel like they've gone down, too far down the track, they go into bunker mode and they won't come out. Um, and our family's had a long association with the Charters and the Eglinton Valley. Um, yeah. So it's been of an interest of me. But that's the same sort of thing. And you saw the same thing with the guy up in Whangarei with the quarry. Yeah. People just get bloody minded. And uh, and that seems to me... And the problem, um, Tina, when you're arguing with it. bureaucrats who aren't yeah. spending their own money on lawyers, they're spending the ratepayers or the taxpayers' money. Yeah. They do not make good you've got an or logical saying, decisions. This is, yeah, and then you've got an Auditor General saying the whole system's stuffed. Yeah. And, and, I mean, how serious is that? And, 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 and I, you know, in the last two weeks, I have been with seven either Tier 2 or Tier 3 public service managers. So yeah. these are not low-down people. These are the $200,000-plus yeah. people. And all of them hate this government all of them say that most of the policies that they're trying to implement are not making no sense, are being done too fast, and there is no free and frank discussions anymore with, their, with the politicians, that they are just there to implement the political whims of the ministers. Climate now, to a affair. point that happens Climate anyway, affair, but Tina. Yeah. it's just gone. And, and so they just, they just feel that they're just doing somebody else's bidding without having being being respected for their advice. So while the I'm sure not a single two tier manager in Wellington will now be want, want to be seen having a coffee with your team at Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> I keep my I keep my, my meetings pretty private. So but I mean that's the sort of that's the sort of thing that's happening out there. So the public service itself is is just an an absolutely terrible terrible place right at yeah. the moment. Yeah. And, you, but because they their salaries are good, they ain't moving either. Yeah, but that's the it's least of our other. worries. We're going into recession and the and the mortgage rate's going up, Tina. Um, oh, <laughs> yep. Yeah, well, I'll probably be the only people who can bloody well afford one. Yeah. Hey, Tina, what is your understanding as to how long this rewrite will take? Well, they say they put. They, I think it's now down for December the third. I think that's the last thing that Chris Bishop put up. Um, so, um, if that's the case, then um, that'll be when it'll be rammed through, literally. Yeah. Oh, that's uh, just crazy. That's a misuse yep. and abuse of uh, parliamentary yes. urgency. It really is. It is, and and it's, I think there's 24 pieces of legislation that are going through urgency, and some of them are, you know, those sort of dumb stuff that someone's written wrong or something that yeah. they have to correct, and it's just, you know, whatever. Yeah. Um, but there is some substantive stuff like the three waters that is being rammed through, yeah. and, and no one is in agreement with it. I don't even think the Green Party's in agreement with this. Yeah. So Māori Party's not, Green Party, Labour, National... Yeah, the uh, only uh, thing they should be Labor passing Nicolette. under urgency, Tina, is revoking the climate change emergency because <laughs> it's all well, you and I slightly different. You and I disagree with uh, on that one. I, I I understand where you're coming from. It's not going to be catastrophic now, but Never we've was. still got a big issue. Yeah, um, oh, it's a tiny issue. We're not even going to get yeah. a one percent, Tina. 
Look, I'll tell you what, there is something, it, it, there is, it doesn't need, to, it only needs to be a fraction of a percent of, of a, a degree to actually make a difference. And, and I mean, we see Change it. Change is the only constant, Tina. Yes, it is. Adapt and or actually, die. I think, I think one of the issues with climate change is that we ha we're not looking at how we're going to deal with the changes yeah. and adapt to them yeah. and, and, you know, and biodiversity, just increase the biodiversity, go and plant more native trees, All get right. rid of the pumpkins, and we're, we're, on, a, we're on, a, on our home run. Oh, you but bloody we, old greeny. I'll, and what you are you having you for lunch, you know, mung beans? Mung beans you, and, need and gene, you, ne the, you need gene editing. We need <laughs> gene editing. <laughs> Hey, Tina, thanks for the update. Good talking to you. We'll talk soon. Tina Nixon, part-time platform host, and a very good one she is, and very interested in the issue of three, four, five, six waters, which just sounds like a, the, a dog's bloody breakfast. Jacinda Ardern, you don't understand what's going on. Don't pretend that you do. The whole thing is a crock. Don't bring it back to the House in early December. Give it till next year. Or maybe just tell your Maori caucus to rack off and go back to the drawing board because it is a, a policy that has got loser written all over it.